everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i have got some more solid painting gels of different colors these are now available on model one's website so i'm like freaking excited about this these literally do not move if you, you like you won't get any leaky pots or anything um i had swatched some earlier today so you no, well this was yeah this was earlier today but this was yesterday so it had been a few hours since i'd used these and you can still see that like i'm trying to hold it upside down look it's just not moving so your pots you will not have a problem with leaky pots anymore so this pink is 004 um this blue is 006 it does come in um they come in sets so the i can't i can't remember you'll have to look on the website um i'll put the link the pep 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 the purple is 010. Um, I'll, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description box. Um, I'm going to use white as the base. So this one that I'm using is called Edelweiss. They do do another white, which is called Africa White. They're very similar. Um, I think it just really depends. Um, Africa White comes in the Traveller set. Edelweiss comes in the... Um, there's a Christmas gift set. So I don't know if the Christmas gift set's still available at the minute. Um, but you can obviously get the white in the traveler set or you can buy it separately if you do buy the sets it does work out um you do save money if you buy the sets plus also you can use code natalie double zero and you'll save another 10 percent, which is brilliant uh so back to the nails um we have put already put one coat of white on um all of the nails and now i'm just going to go ahead and apply the second coat and i cure each layer in the lamp for 30 seconds this white is really creamy this one um so we are now here so what i'm going to do is i've got this brush i think this was my one stroke brush from my course that i my my essential nails course so um i'm probably going to ruin it because i don't think you should mix acrylic paints with gel paints but anywho um i'll just you know whatever um <laughs> I'm just putting a little bit of each of the different coloured gels on the end of my brush and I dabbed off any excess on the side of the pot and then all we're going to do is create brush strokes over the nails. Now they can go in absolutely any direction. This one was not as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and then I'm going to go up. So you can obviously go over them again and i'm just going to repeat that over over all the nails and you can do it in different di so like some of them i go straight across um others i go like diagonally this one i'm going to go straight across the center but i still want to make it look like a paint swipe if you know what i mean i don't want it to be like you don't want it to be um what's the word you want to be able to see the bristle strokes you see this probably is not the best brush to do it with but i've done it with it now so it's a bit late so this one i'm going to try and go diagonally 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 i'm i'm like obsessed with harry potter at the moment and dementors and stuff <laughs> so stupid <laughs> now i've cleaned my brush off and i'm going to go in with the blue and we're going to do exactly the same so to clean my brush um i used a um i don't know what you call it i put a little dollop of top coat on my palette and just sort of brushed it through and got rid of some of the color and then i wiped the brush between a lint-free wipe you can use isopropyl alcohol um, it's up to you. Sometimes isopropyl alcohol, I find, opens up the, the bristles a bit. So, I don't know. Just You just got to find the best way that works for you. So, I'm going to do the same with the blue. Again, I if you want to slightly, what do you call it, overlap the, the brush strokes, that's fine. You can't, just, you know, just whatever. Just go with the flow, really. This is just one of those... I want to try and oh, do some easy designs that but that look quite nice. I actually quite like this one in the end. When I first started it, I didn't really know what I was going to do. I'm now going to do the same with the pink. 
and once I finished with the pink I did think that the nails still looked a little bit too sparse I think that's the right word so I do go over with some different brush strokes in a minute like off camera because there was still too much white so see, you can see the pink, I've gone over the blue there. It doesn't matter if you overlap. I love the pink and the blue. They're so like, what do you call it? Um, they're just sort of like, they remind me of a baby girl and a baby boy. <laughs> That's why I wanted to add the purple because I didn't want this to be like a, so you can see I've added more stripes, more, more strokes. And then I'm going to use Dreamy Silver. I can't remember... I think this might be from the Traveller set as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to put a little blob on my palette. And then I'm going to take a detailer brush. And I'm going to add some, just some little thin strokes between some of the thicker coloured brush strokes, if you see what I mean. Only like three or four. You don't want to add too many. This is just to give it a little bit more detail, I suppose. I went a little bit wonky there. <laughs> so, I mean, you can just, just play with it. Just, you know, they don't have to be, I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> anyway, this is them so far. I'm going to cure those in the lamp for 30 seconds. The gel paints I cured for 60, just to be on the safe side. So they don't have a massive tacky layer. So um, I'm going to just go over with a thin layer of base coat. This is on the ring finger. And I'll cure that for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to use Nail Sugar's Electra and Phantom Glitter Pixels. This is going to... So the Electra are the pinkier ones. Um, over white they look pink. And I'm going to use this brush to pop them on. So these glitter pixels will look completely different over black than what they do white. So just bear that in mind. So I've just dipped into the Phantom and I was just going to put a few little dobs here and there. But I ended up going over the whole nail. And when I looked at the nail in natural light, which I will show you in a minute, it almost looked like the design was pixelated. It looked really, really, it just looked amazing in, in natural light. So this is obviously artificial light. Um, I'm going to do the same on the middle finger, but I'm going to use the Electra glitter pixels. There is another coloured glitter pixel, but I can't think what the name is at the minute. But they're all on Nail Sugar's website. Again, if I rem if I if I have time, if I don't do it right away, I'll do it later this evening. I will put the links to the glitter pixels in the description box below. Also, if you do make an order with Nail Sugar, you can use code NATMOG10, all in caps, and you can save yourself 10% from Nail Sugar as well. So, you know, Model 1s and Nail Sugar, you can save 10%, get absolute bargain. Now I'm just going over with some top coat. I am gonna do the, what you call it? I'm gonna do the nails without any glitter on first because I don't wanna contaminate the glitter. So uh, I don't want to contaminate the, like I want these to be plain with no glitter on. So now I'm going to go over the glitter pixel nails. And before I dip the brush back into the top coat pot bottle, I will just make sure there are no glitter pixels on the brush. So I just wipe the brush on the paper towel. There we go and then i will cure this in the lamp for um i think this cures for 60 seconds this top coat so this is the finished set i'm going to show you the natural nail light the natural light next i really like these actually so this is them in natural light don't they look so, oh they just look amazing i love that so much and then this is the close-up so I hope you like this set, um, if you did, please leave me a like, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I'm off to forest school this morning with the kids, so this video probably won't go up till later this afternoon. But thank you for watching, um, I might get a video up tomorrow, I know it's Saturday, but I'm going to try and get a video up tomorrow because I don't think I got a video up on Monday, so I'm going to try and make up for that. And we've got a giveaway on its way, so do keep your eyes peeled. I'll see you tomorrow.